What is going on YouTube family? So welcome back to another good old Driven Films vlog. So um, today, as you can see, I bought most of this stuff um, probably about a week ago, maybe two weeks now ago. But uh, pretty much it's just supplies for me to uh, paint the Civic with. Uh, got the uh, water separator thingy and then I got just a regular filter for like particles and stuff like that. I'm going to use both of these because I'm pretty sure it'll give me the best result. I got the good old El Cheapo Harbor Freight spray gun with the coupon. It was only 10 bucks. I got a whole box of these um, 110 and 120 mesh paint strainers that was like five bucks. I got a roll of this plastic, um, which I don't know if I can use this for the windows or not. Uh, if I can't, I will be going back and getting a roll of the paper, but I know this stuff folds out really good. So I'm gonna put that on the uh, where the engine bay is and cover that up as well as like the tires and I may Depending on how good this stuff is, I'll probably end up laying some all around under the car so that we don't get as much overspray directly under the car. Um, yeah, and then uh, I went in Harbor Freight because they had a sale on a, I want to say it was a 44 piece screwdriver set for like $22. Normally it's like $28. And I was going to get that, but they were out. So I found this nice ass set. Like this set was only 10 bucks. And it comes with like, look at all these little screwdrivers here. Then it's got this nice long one. Then it's got all these other ones in there. So this was only 10 bucks. And then I also got a uh, little set, like with little tiny ones, but I left that in the house because we used that for like, you know, watches and stuff, but that was like five bucks. Also, we got a respirator. Uh, like again, I've been had this for like a week. I know, um, Somebody had commented on the video where I was painting the bumper and said I needed one of these because the dust mask ones don't really work. I know I just didn't want to, I didn't want to use this until um, I really got into the heavy painting stages because most of the time when I'm sanding the car down and stuff, I have the doors open so it's not like a whole lot of um, dust stuff. So as long as I use that, I should be fine. But when I get ready to really, really go to work on this car, I'm definitely going to be using this. So appreciate the concern guys, but I'm trying to do it as semi-professional as I can. But um, with that being said, what we're going to end up doing mostly today is I want to get the bumper back on the trap so that we can button this up and get it back out the shop. Uh, <clears throat> somebody did mention in the last video, well in the video where we painted the bumper, that I should go ahead and do the back bumper as well, which I am going to do, but I do need to get up with Steven because I need to make sure I got another one of these uh, yellow stickers to go across the back before I paint it, just so I can make sure I have it ready for Import Alliance. I do want to run my, my little branding on the back, so got to make sure I have a sticker for it, but the front bumper is ready to go, so we're going to be throwing that on on today and uh, seeing how she looks. But man, I mean, it looks like the day I bought it, like this is exactly how it looked the day I bought it, and that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to shine, I just wanted this deep, nice matte color, and that's perfect. That looks perfect, guys. So we're going to try to get that thrown on, and side note, I want to show y'all this. This masterpiece here is uh, from my son Trey, which at the beginning of this video, y'all saw him sanding it down some. He really wanted to, to paint something, so I bought him a couple cans of cheap spray paint, and um, I just let him go to work on this because I'm not going to be using this trunk, so um, yeah, that's his work. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump into getting this bumper put back on. Yo, check that out. Yo. Damn, she look good. Woo! She look good, yo. Damn! That thing look good, bro. And it matches perfectly. Like, don't get me wrong now, this is dirty, like this got fingerprints and stuff on it, but look at the look at the shine, like see this and that. Like it's practically the exact same 
shine to it, bro. Like, that's perfect. Oh my God. Neat. Look at that. That shit. Wow. Wow, that looks amazing, yo. This car is so, bro, it is so beautiful to me. Ah, we really gotta do this back bumper now. Like, that's, that's like no question to it. Like, this thing has to be done. I'm gonna definitely get it done between now and Import Alliance, definitely. Cause that thing's gonna look so sweet. Both bumpers matching. Both of them have the perfect flat color to them. Like, this car is, this is my baby, yo. This is my baby. Look at that. Dang. So beautiful, man. I think I need to put a badge in here, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if y'all think I should put a, um, like a H badge back. I've been riding it forever with no badge, but let me know if you think I should put one in there or not. I'm interested to know. All right guys, so now that we got the trap back out of the shop, we can jump back on this Civic. And uh, what I was pretty much doing a while ago is uh, taking out this uh, fuel pump and just, I just want to check it and see because there was a fuel pump just laying in the back. So I want to first make sure there's a fuel pump in it and then just see the condition, see how, cause I know from my square body that if this is really rusted that we might end up having to do a gas tank swap, which I'm not trying to do. So I've already broke loose all of the 10 mils. I gotta take this uh, return line off. I already got the uh, main line took off and I gotta spin the rest of these out and uh, we'll be able to check and see if this uh, fuel pump is any good and if the fuel tank itself is any good. Another thing I want to tell y'all, I don't think I told y'all yet, but I also picked up a uh, P06 chipped for like, um, it's basically the same setup as a P28. So I picked this up from my boy Javon. So got this on a good deal. So as long as this works, then uh, we should be good. Um, it's on a H23 base map or it might, I think it's tuned for a H23, but I'm not so sure that, uh, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's going to work. So for that reason, we're not going to worry about the tune. We're just going to, as long as it's a chip P28 or P06, that way we can get it tuned. That's all we need. But yeah, I'm going I'm to go ahead and get this return line took off and we'll pull this uh, assembly up out of there and fingers crossed there won't be any rust on it so we'll know the gas tank and stuff should be good we should just be able to um, throw it all back together and it should work alright guys so here goes the pump and sock and stuff that was in the car and man it does not look it does not look bad at all like this hanger assembly looks mint so that's a really good sign. The sock doesn't look that bad. It's old. I'll probably get a new one anyway, but it does not look bad. So that's a really good sign. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can look at the, uh, look inside the gas tank in it. Yeah, this, it's just got some normal dirt and debris in there. 
Yeah, but you can you can see there's uh there's no corrosion. Like look at that. That is a clean ass gas tank. Do y'all see that? Look at that, that's silver. Like that thing is clean, so yeah. That's a really good plus. Now that we know the gas tank is in really good shape, man. That's a big weight off my shoulders because dealing with that CV7 I had, that thing was trash. So um, this gas tank looks to be really, really well sorted. I cut myself, but it is what it is. But yeah, um, so I'm, what I'm gonna do right quick now is I'm gonna go ahead and throw the pump and stuff back in the gas tank, get all that tidied up. I'll probably uh, reinstall the cover and get that all buttoned up and um, that's one thing that we know now with the Civic, which is really good. It's been bothering me because, like I said, when I when I bought it, it uh, it had the cover off. Everything else was hooked up, but the cover was off, and then it had an extra fuel pump. Which, when I looked up this part number, um, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's probably yeah. When I looked up this part number, it said that this was for a Polaris like a like a Polaris um, ATV like or either like a UTV thing so that got me to thinking maybe that pump was just in here from somebody that had a four-wheeler or whatever and they just laid it in here or something maybe it didn't go to this car so that's why I really wanted to open that up and see just to make sure because I've dealt with that before and I'm not really enthusiastic about dealing with it rest stuff but yeah this pump looks everything looks like it's in uh, pretty good shape so yeah we'll just end up reusing it <clears throat> um like i said i may try to grab a sock for it just to kind of give me a little bit more peace of mind but this sock does not look too bad compared to my square body so yeah um Definitely gonna do a fuel filter anyway, so we won't have to worry about it messing anything up um, engine wise. So I got the uh, fuel pump and stuff all put back together, and while I was back here, I went ahead and I finished taking out pretty much all I'm gonna take out back here as far as um, the uh, interior goes, and uh, I just got a up top there's a few like little plastic clips and stuff. I'm gonna get all of those out and uh, that'll be pretty much it. I'm gonna leave these pillar things because they're all one piece and they run up to the front seat belt area. So I'm gonna probably leave those uh, for now. I may, I may just come back and take those out too because I mean hell I done took all this out at the bottom anyway so I might as well get that little swoop thing up there and make all of this from there back just be good. Yeah, that's pretty much how she's gonna look in the rear. Um, we will be cleaning this up in a video and painting this with some good old Rust-Oleum. Um, do I want to do gloss or matte black? That's my question. I may just do a matte black because I like that satin finish. But uh, either way, we're gonna black this. Everything that's uh, showing this metal back here, we're gonna black all of it out. And that way it'll look more uniform with the exterior once we uh, paint the actual car itself. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I've decided on how I'm going to do my videos from now on. And this is pretty much what you're going to get. I'm going to try to just cover some of each car in each video. That way we don't have to do one video per car or something like that. We just kind of go around. Because I, I dabble in all of them in a day's time. So it's not really... I don't feel right doing a whole video on one subject when I could just kind of bounce around. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy this better than me only working on one vehicle at a time. And I'll try to kind of, when I have time and I'm not doing like major projects, I'll kind of do a little bit to each car. And uh, we can go ahead and prep for 2020 season, man, because this is going to be super exciting. Like we're going we're gonna to be at the track with this. We're going to take the trap car to some shows. Like, um, it's gonna be super hype. And if I could finish this in time, I am gonna, I will try to drive this to H Day along with uh, 79 Production, because it would be dope if he drive his Civic 
and I can drive this and we could just mob up there together. But that's like the first of April and I'm not too sure if I will have it completely together by then with Import Alliance being at the end of, of uh, March. That's gonna kind of kill my vibes for trying to finish it up before H day. But either way, a lot of stuff in the works coming. So make sure y'all like this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. And I will catch y'all in the next one. As always, respect all bills. Peace out.